All right, that kind of transitions right into the next big block of this coaching program, which is fail-proof habit tracking system, okay? So we're gonna be tracking every single habit that you do, and it's not, it might seem like, oh my God, everything that I do, um, you're only gonna have one habit to focus on. And a lot of times you're only gonna have to do that habit once a day. Uh, so tracking it is gonna be very easy for you to do because one, it's on an app, and two, tracking it's gonna take less than 30 seconds a day, all right? Between opening the email and opening the app, it might take you two minutes a day to get everything you need to get done for this program, all right? I spent months trying to refine this as much as I possibly could because I don't want you to spend an hour trying to you know, make all these things work. It's just too overwhelming. It won't take you more than two minutes to do these two things, all right? So I promise it'll be an easy process to implement, all right? Um, and it's also flexible, right? If you forget to do something, I'm not gonna like bang on your door and say, hey, make sure you go in the app and do your habit. But I might send you a reminder saying, hey, you know, yesterday you forgot to enter in your habit. Make sure you get that down, down today, right? Just a little bit of accountability because that's super important, not only with nutrition, but any type of skill building, okay? Um, all right, cool. Um, the next is going to be, and this is gonna be the last one because I don't wanna make this video too long. I wanna make it long enough to where you can get what you need, but not where you're sitting around waiting for the point, okay? Um, okay, cool. So the last one is a no stress body composition tracking system, okay? Now I put this as optional because although it is important to track body weight measures, for those that have very serious psychological hangups when it comes to your scale, might not be able to do this and function properly throughout the program. So I leave it as optional for those that either are willing to learn how to use a scale and, and not be completely turned off by it or by those people that just don't really care too much about what the scale says. And if you don't care what the scale says, more power to you, you're gonna get so much more out of this program. But I wanna leave it optional because I don't want somebody not doing this program simply because of one little aspect of it, right? You'll skip, still get all the benefits of it, but tracking makes those benefits real, right? If we get a bunch of achievements, but we don't track them and we don't see our progress, it's not as motivating because we don't have any proof. And proving to yourself that you've done something successful is extremely important for the process of doing it again and even seeing the benefit of it, okay? So this is how it's gonna be done. I'm going to teach you how to use a bathroom scale. And you might be thinking, well, aren't you supposed to just step on it and look at the number and then record it? At the end of the day, yes, but psychologically, it's much more advanced than that, okay? So I'll give you an example. Um, sometimes people step on the scale and it says something they like, all right? The next day they step on the scale and it says something they don't like. That relationship and that emotional connection can be detrimental to trying to continue the process. When understanding that body fluctuations, even if you're doing everything right, are going to go up and down, up and down, once you know that and start practicing and start telling yourself that's what's gonna happen, you stop worrying about the daily fluctuations, right? Um, what we're gonna be focusing on is a trend of time. So weeks and months, not days. Days are not important for anything other than tracking the data, all right? We're gonna have between one to three times a week you're going to weigh yourself. And I would recommend for most people to start off at two, all right? And if you're feeling confident and you're starting to, to not feel stressed out about it, I think maybe three would be a good idea as well, okay? 